Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Yeah, hey amazing people, uh, we are back with the next lab that is exploiting blind SQL injection by triggering time delays. Okay, so when do we uh, go for a time delay is that no matter whatever payload we put, the application gives a same response like only the 200 okay response and it will not give any conditional errors like that then in that case we can go for a time delay uh, one because there is only one thing which we are getting every time that is 200 okay okay so let us directly get into the lab so before uh, that just open this cheat sheet i have already opened and pinned it here okay uh, let us go here blind sql injection with time delays the lab contains a blind SQL injection vulnerability. The application uses a tracking cookie for analytics and performs an SQL query containing the value of the submitted cookie. The result of the SQL query are not returned and the application does not respond any different based on whether the query returns any rows or causes an error. So no matter if the query is wrong also, the application is not going to respond. So that's the thing here. Okay. However, even the query is uh, executed synchronously, it is possible to trigger conditional time delay to infer information. To solve the lab, exploit the SQL injection vulnerability to cause a 10 seconds delay. Yeah. So just we need to cause a 10 seconds delay. That's all. This is very small lab. Let us go to hint what it says. So it shows us to take this cheat sheet. Okay. Let me access the lab. And meanwhile, uh, let me open the burp as well. Uh, for this, community edition is more than enough. We don't have to go to a professional one. Yeah, we have opened the burp and let us go here. Uh, this is the application. I mean, the vulnerable lab which we need to solve. And as usual, uh, we have this uh, tracking ID cookie as it says in the lab description okay so let me uh, put the traffic to burp and yeah let us let me check if the intercept is on yeah i have clicked on uh, home now we got the tracking cookie let me take this to repeater just like very simple Okay, I have opened this professional edition because there is some issue with the community edition. I got an error. Okay. Uh, so here, uh, let us go to the repeater and send this. And yeah, just let us give, let us try something. Uh, as we have tried in the last lab, we have tried to balance this way. Send. We got a 200 okay response. Let me type A, B, C, D, E, just like that. Even though we have a 200 OK response and we are getting the whole page. Yeah, we are getting the whole page even though. So now this is just a time based SQL injection. Uh, what we need to do. Uh, I mean, uh, this is just a small query just like that. I will show you that in the cheat sheet. But before that, let me arrange the concatenation. Just like this, okay, just like this, I have arranged it and let us go to this, uh, let us go to the time based SQL queries, yeah, here, sorry, this is our time based SQL, uh, okay, you can cause a time delay in the database when the query is processed. The following will cause an unconditional time delay of 10 seconds. Okay, so this these queries will cause unconditional time delay of 10 seconds. Okay, yeah, I know that this particular one way is the right one, but I suggest you to, you know, uh, go through each and everything, try everything and then okay try everything okay i have copied this and i don't need select here because this is uh, this is a separate uh, uh, query that i am going to give so i am using a concatenation here okay 
and let me paste it here just like this and let me comment the rest because uh, we will have a semicolon at the end uh, when it when this particular one triggers okay so let me hit on send so before hitting the send here we can see the 396 uh, milliseconds is the time for the present response i mean the previous one okay it took 396 milliseconds now let me hit on send yeah it is taking some time i think this should be 10 seconds okay yeah see 10386 milliseconds this means more than 10 seconds okay this took 10 seconds time delay so this is how we can trigger time based sql injection so yeah i mean blind sql injection with time based okay so this is uh, so in the previous labs we have solved i mean we have performed an error kind of thing and from that we were able to understand okay in this we will give a time based so from the ne in the next lab we will give a time based and from that we will retrieve some information so that is how the next lab is going to be and yeah uh, i think we have solved the lab uh, let us go here yeah it says congratulations you have solved the lab okay you and for this lab we don't have to go until uh, go to the burp just we can put everything here and it works it definitely works okay and i have commented the rest okay and hit on home but here we won't know that exact time see it is still loading for 10 seconds it will load yeah you can uh, just keep a count yeah see it took exactly 10 seconds for uh, you know uh, loading this page so you can also do it here itself because this is in the cookies but uh, yeah burp is very handy for us so we have to go with the burp yeah congratulations uh, you have solved this lab and have a great day